In today's Sharp Saturday video, we're going to take a look at something you may not have considered a sharp instrument, but we're going to take a look at this uh, titanium Russian Spetsnaz style shovel. <laughs> it's got a little edge on it. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for trustworthy information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name's Brian, thanks for joining me. So, as I said in this video, we're gonna take a look at this titanium version of the uh, Russian Special Forces style shovel that um, I think you've probably seen, them, maybe, you may have seen on the channel anyway, if you've been watching for a while, the uh, cold steel version of this shovel, which is very, very popular, around 25, 30 bucks, I think. And it's um, a little heavier than this one. This is only one pound, one ounces. But uh, you may be unusual, again, to see a shovel on Sharp Saturday, but this thing does have a little edge on it, if you can see that. And it's designed to be a multi-purpose tool, including a chopping style tool. So uh, maybe even a weapon. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But, but first, I wanna give a big shout out to the sponsors of this video, Big Daddy Unlimited. I know you've heard me talk about Big Daddy Unlimited before because I just re really and truly think they're one of my favorite sites on the internet. If you're not familiar with Big Daddy Unlimited, they are a membership buying club that uh, allows you to become a member and buy guns, knives, camping gear, all kinds of stuff at near wholesale prices. And they're able to do that because as a membership club, uh, they don't have to adhere to the minimum advertised pricing that most manufacturers make people sign a contract uh, saying they will comply with. So in other words, they don't advertise to the public so they can sell below that price and they pass those savings on to you. And honestly, they probably make most of their money through the membership fees. And your monthly membership fee is just 10 bucks or 99 bucks for the whole year. But if you use the link in the video description below, right there, survivalonpurpose.com slash BDU, you can get your first 30 days for just 99 cents. Check it out, see if it makes sense for you. It's been making sense for me for a couple of years now. So anyway, thanks again to Big Daddy Unlimited for sponsoring this video. Now let's get to doing some of that, uh, titanium shovel stuff actually before we get to doing the stuff i'll tell you a, a quick quick story about this so a uh, few months back i was at tactical response taking their force on force training and sonny bazookas who was a russian special forces russian soldier i guess he's, he's now uh teaches firearms training in, in the usa um or, or tactical training he was having a class on using one of these shovels and i think it was the uh, cold steel version they were using um, as a defensive weapon or maybe offensive weapon. And I, I, I kind of saw some of it um, in between my uh, scenarios I was doing, but it looked pretty interesting. So bottom line, this could be a, a, a multi-purpose item. It could be a, a, a shovel, a, a hatchet, an ax, uh, or maybe even a defensive weapon. So, And this is, again, it's a lightweight version. I bought mine on Amazon. It was about 76 bucks, and it took me it took them like, man, I don't know, literally like two months to get here from Russia. It came with a bunch of Russian writing on it. I think Dave Canterbury sells um, so either this one or one very, very similar to it on his website for about 50 bucks at Self-Reliance Outfitters. So um, that's probably where I would go to get mine. So anyway, I, I've got a downed tree over here that just got knocked down in the storm. So we're going to do a little chopping and see how well this thing chops. And we may, may check the balance on it too. So let's do that. You see me okay here? So got this thing it's got a pretty good edge i think i would like to put a better edge on it to make it really sharp but let's just see how well it works again this is a pretty solid but it blew down in the uh, hurricane by which by the way when does a hurricane affect georgia but anyway atlanta especially let's just see pretty good there we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna hack away at this about three inch pretty solid piece of wood and see what happens Okay, <laughs> I gotta say, I really don't think that's that bad for a shovel. I mean, it wanted to twist in my hands sometimes depending on how I hit it, but 
it did a pretty decent job for a shovel for a shovel let me show you the edge all right the edge is still still in good shape no big dents or anything in it i was a little concerned about the handle got just a, it's got a you hear that a little bit of wobble in it now i think those screws got a, maybe weren't tight enough to begin with but it did pretty good um there you go so i wonder if she's balanced okay i know by the way sure as carter made liver pills <laughs> i don't know where I, I heard that when i was a kid somebody's gonna say i can't believe that you did that to that tree uh, but you know we're gonna test the balance on this thing shall we uh try again and calibration is tough with the shovel i'm gonna back up just a little bit here I did a lot better with the cold steel. Okay, one more and we're gonna call it uh, unable to balance, ATB. We're done. When Chug Nara swims in the ocean, the sharks get in a cage. Okay, well, we're gonna wrap this one up. We're gonna call this thing unable to properly balance. Uh, I don't have my balance orientation and rotation device out here. Uh, did have a little clip at the beginning, but, but I'll be honest with you, that was from about three feet, uh, sort of cheating, but uh, I, th I thought it looked good for the intro. Anyway, um, that's the uh, titanium special forces shovel. And this is 100% uh, by the way, Russian military titanium in a hardwood handle. Again, I bought mine on Amazon. Uh, they're available on Amazon right now for around 70 80 bucks and then um you may have to wait forever for uh for them to get here from russia or i think right now dave canterbury had some on um up the uh, self reliance outfitter store she listed some of these for 50 bucks so until he sells out that might be the best place to get them so if you're interested i do think it's a, it's a great take on the uh special forces style shovel i was pretty impressed that it chopped through that that wood the way it did it's not an axe you know so so don't tell me well it didn't do near as good as my hatchet will do a lot better of course it will but will your hatchet dig a hole that's the question and it'll dig a hole it's not going to be my favorite tool to dig a hole because it's so straight and flat but it's also extremely lightweight so i think it'd be a good choice for just an all-around multi-purpose tool you could use it for clearing brush for a trailer or whatever you know digging holes if you need to dig a hole um, for whatever you need to dig holes for and maybe as a weapon i'll put it this way i saw a video of a guy jogging that was stalked by a a mountain lion uh you probably saw it too it was all over the internet and i'd feel a lot better if i had something like this in my hand trying to fight off a wild beast than than a knife or, or, or than, a, than a cell phone camera for sure so anyway hopefully this has been kind of interesting i thought i'd do something a little bit different for this sharp saturday so thanks for watching and thanks for your support once again my name is brian you're watching survival on purpose remember survival's not an accident so be prepared and i'll see you next time